So keeping in mind uh, the fact that we've been seeing so many incidents of poll violence, now we understand that the deadline for filing the nominations have also been extended. Considering the poll violence, we understand that uh, the election commission, the poll panel, has taken note of the same and thereby has extended the deadline for filing nominations. Keep in mind, as most of the candidates who have been filing the nominations have been targeted in different districts of Bengal. And now, keeping that in mind, the state election commission has extended the deadline. Rithik is once again with us. And Rithik, uh, this is important that the election commission has taken note of the violence and that's why has decided to extend the deadline by a matter of 24 hours. Right, in a wake of in this continuous violence erupting in several districts uh, during this nomination procedure, late last night, election commission decided to extend the, uh, the you know, to filing nomination for one more day. And now the uh, candidates can file their nomination uh, till uh, Tuesday, you know, uh, 3 p.m. Uh, so these are the very uh, crucial decision has been made by the uh, election commission because, you know, there were several allegations and the last time, of course, the opposition parties like Bharati the parties, left parties, uh, and Congress, they also also reached okay. and appeal uh, to the election commission to extend the final uh, time uh, for filing nomination. Uh, but uh, it, it seems to be that today it will be also boiling when uh, this kind of uh, nomination procedure will be uh, continuing uh, till right. this afternoon. Back to you. All right, Rithik, thanks for getting us those details. Rape accused MLA remains brazen. Will CM Yogi sack the accused MLA? Victim takes on Yogi MLA Kuldeep Sengar. Says no post-mortem BJP till MLA arrest. After widespread violence witnessed last week over caste based reservations across India, yet another band has been called on today. However, different groups are staging protests against caste based reservations in jobs. The Union Home Ministry has asked all the state governments to be extra vigilant to avoid any violence and loss of life. The ministry has particularly asked the state government to make the district magistrates and the district police chiefs personally responsible for the law and order situations. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath has summoned accused BJP MLA Kuldeep Singh. District magistrate said that the post-mortem examination of the victim would be conducted by a panel of doctors to ascertain the cause of death. Karnataka Congress leaders have rejected the theory of anti-incumbency wave against the party. Congress leaders also expressed confidence in Sidramaya's leadership and adding that he was the front-runner for CM's post. Lawyers in Bhopal staged a protest against the state government demanding implementation of Advocates Protection Act. Advocates across the state have abstained from work for the first day of the week-long protest seeking implementation of Advocates Protection Act. Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister N. Chandrababu Naidu held video conference with collectors of all the 13 districts and heads of various departments. Chandrababu Naidu reviewed the performance in different areas, mainly in open defecation. Controversy erupted after a madrasa in UP decided to include Sanskrit in its syllabus. Sanskrit, among other subjects, is being taught at Darul Uloom Husainiya Madrasa. Sanskrit will be taught to students along with Arabic, Maths and Science. President Ramnath Kovind arrived in Swaziland on the second leg of his three-nation tour during which he will hold talks with the king. Prime Minister of Swaziland received President Kovind on his arrival at the Swaziland International Airport, after which President will visit Zambia. Rohatang Pass is all set to reopen from today. The pass had been shut down after snow-clearing operation was undertaken by Border Roads Organisation.